know what you're doing? I forgot the button. <laughs> it's been a while. Hello, yeah. everybody, except for Uncle Yukon, who is leaving us to go watch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I can't really argue with that. That's a really good movie. I told him not to forget his towel. Did that make me nerdy? <laughs> Yes. I've only watched it once, but I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't remember the difference between that or Tally. Like, don't forget to bring it down. <laughs> very, very different. So, like, I don't know what the line is. <laughs> so. I can't think of what right. the actual line is, but, but I yes, tried. don't forget your towel. I tried Absolutely. to nerd. Um, if you haven't read it, the book is better. You have an amazing version of that book. I do. I got, um, like, a leather-bound, gold spine, beautiful version of it for like 20 bucks. Yeah. That's one of my uh, prize book possessions. It looks I pretty cool. It. Take that hotel room Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it is on par with a hotel room Bible. It, is. it, it really It does is. look pretty rad. Um, Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Yes. It's, it's been a while. I kind of forgot how to do this. Christmas April Fool's today. Did you get um, fooled at all? No. I was surprised because there's kind of a lot of jerks in my office. I was kind of expecting something, but... no. The day was uneventful. No one ever gave you up. No, <laughs> no one's one. gonna let you down. I did not get rid nothing of like that at all. No, nothing. Dang, what about the internet? You you love the internet. Um, it was kind of a busy day, and I didn't really internet much today at work. Oh, uh, okay. So no, no. Anybody else uh, get April Fool? Well, wow, in, in a good way. I feel like it's on the out. Because remember, like there was April Fools when we grew up, and then like nobody cared anymore. And then for a while, some of the cool, and fun internet startups. Yes, there was did lots stuff. of they cool internet back. things. Yes. And then it's, I think it's overdone. Already. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Did you just like hiccup off camera? Uh, Not on camera. Because Dan doesn't hiccup on camera. I don't know. But you don't know. And then now it's like now it's like not cool to have an April Fools joke. I guess not. I don't know. Yeah, almost completely. We forgot. can have one. I'd like to announce that we're expecting <laughs> that is, uh, cookies. That's actually, no cookies, cookies. That's we're expecting cookies. Not a funny joke, and it's highly advised that you do not make that joke. Cookies. But you congratulations to my old coworker Carlos, who told me today he is expecting. Well, not him, his wife. But <laughs> <laughs> there's a big difference there. Big difference. <laughs> there's a big difference. Yes. Um, let's uh, welcome back to the RFS Fam Doctor Detroit stream stuff. Um, apparently let that lapse, but signed right back up, so thank you so much. Appreciate you, friend. And we've got, uh, I'm scrolling, guys, I'm scrolling. Foxy Koala with her member super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Member for 18 months says, can't believe I've been a member for so long. Let's get baked. Also, I'm making some snickerdoodle bars. I don't know what snickerdoodles are. I don't, I don't know, I know what they are. They're the biggest lie ever. <laughs> when someone's like, oh, I make snickerdoodles and stuff. It was like a lot of years of this. And all of a sudden I saw snickerdoodles and there's no snicker in it. That's because you thought that's, that the peanut butter cookies with snickers inside that I make were snickerdoodles? You have to have the stuff in the thing to make it the thing. I can't there has them. to be a Snickers inside like, your Snickers. I can't be like, this is a Big Mac taco, and it's just a taco. <laughs> it's just a taco. That would right. be disappointing. Right. Um, can you, sir, we're trying to do a live show. Oh, please sorry, shut your ringer off. Please turn your phones to silent, guys, much like you would in a movie theater. Um, I'm glad to see that you guys missed us. I missed you guys. It was kind of weird last Friday to come home and not have anything to do. I had no responsibilities. I had no friends to hang out with. I just hung out with Blake. That oh. was it. Did you guys see... On the Giddy Maker Crystal Facebook page, my friend Nanda came over and was so freaking excited to take a picture on set of Getting Baked with Crystal. She's like, I'm going to post this in the group. Everybody's going to be excited. Cracked me up. Love her. Um, took pictures with the cats. Let uh, Kitty let her pet her. She came out on the couch and hung out with us. She's turned a new leaf. Nanda was excited. It was great fun. So, yeah, I got to hang out with my friend. And, uh... <laughs> Hi, Nanda. <laughs> she's watching now. She's watching and texting hi, me. Hi, Nanda. It sucks like I, I missed you. Aw. Aw. Yeah. We'll, we'll hang out again soon. Oh, that text, by the way, was just random text message from a wrong number. Keith, do you have any tips for a good trip to Las Vegas? <laughs> tips for a good trip to Las Vegas in the chat, you guys. We Boy, need do I. to let... Boy, do I. <laughs> <laughs> been on black. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Uh, so Dogs Vlogs, Jess is here. Thank you so much. <laughs> With the super chat says, even though Dan was here visiting, I missed the evening live streams. Let's get baked. Let's Woo! Yeah, I know. Huh? I it's see, been a long time. I see time. more action happening in the chat. I'm just standing here right in my mouth. I'm excited to talk to you guys. I it's, did it's hang out in Michigan for a week and a day. You did. I know. And you had an amazing surprise. I did. I heard. <laughs> no. I heard. <laughs> You cried. No. I was told 
that you cried it's when Im- Steve showed up. I was also told that Steve cried. It's impossible <laughs> to cry because it's everything just freezes up. Everything. Just, <laughs> the everything tears just, just freeze up. in your eyeballs. <laughs> Oh, yes, and Jason. Jason is done expecting. Lucille Jean was born on the 21st, exactly uh, three years and six months from Bradley's birthday. So they're, they're well, what a baseball exactly, stat that was. <laughs> it's interesting that their birthdays are exactly six months apart. Way to time that so your kids' birthdays aren't, like, too close together and one gets overshadowed or neither of them is too close to Christmas. Jason, I'm, I'm looking at you. I, I get it. So congratulations to Jason and Sandy and uh, my new niece, Lucy. I kind of love it. Um, Loki the Siberian Steve with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. So sad I did not get to meet you in person. I, I cried a little. Not gonna lie. It says, glad we're back to live streaming. I missed them last weekend. <laughs> what did he have to say? I said, boy, do I. One, always been on black. And I'm writing up another one. Oh, he said, I'm really sorry that I didn't check or he or she the number carefully because I was busy with work. I made a big mistake. I hope you don't mind. I made a big mistake. <laughs> just keep them coming. Ignore the fact that he acknowledged that it's a wrong number and just keep eat them as, coming. Eat as much bacon as you can at the buffets. <laughs> uh, Alicia with the member super chat member for three months. Thank you so much. Hi, can't stay long packing and getting ready to move. Hope you had a great time in Michigan and a great break. Missed your live Yay. streams. Um, congratulations on the move. I hope it's a good move. I hope you're moving on to bigger and better things and have a safe trip. Uh, Crystal WrestleMania. It's oh three God. dates of it. <laughs> PJ with the super <laughs> chat. <laughs> What's up, uh, PJ? Big today count. Love y'all. Let's get baked. Love it with the life advice. Thank you. Adele says, yay, you're back. It's been a long week of isolation without my regular scheduled programs. Yes, you guys, we have a full schedule for uh, April, except for the last week. We're going to go ahead and take another week off just, you know, for, for some us time. We, we need a minute to ourselves. But... Before that happens, we've got lots of fun stuff happening. If you guys have not seen it yet, the calendar is posted on the RFS Family Facebook group. It is pinned to the top so you guys can see it. More of the same usual stuff. Dan's got it right here. Look, Dan on the spot. Um, We are trying something new on the 20th, on 420 apparently. We are going to show you guys some board games. I'm not sure how the timing is going to work out, so I'm not going to commit to which games we're going to show you. Um, I know what playtime is for us. But we're not sure how long it's going to take to, like, show you guys, answer questions, all that kind of stuff. So it may be one game, it may be two games, it may be three games. Who knows? But we'll show you guys some stuff. Um, I may also make a post asking you guys what you want to see. If if we can't decide. We'll that sounds like a lot of fun. Work on that. I'm hoping it will be. I'm hoping that we can kind of turn you guys on to some more games. I When Nando was here, I told her, like, oh, we've been getting into playing board games and buying some new board games. And she's like, don't you have all the board games? No, no, no. We have all the, like, Monopolies and Saris and, and Clue and all that stuff. These are the, the expensive board games you don't let your kids play with. Like, like you need a budget for these games. No shoots and Ladders? I kind of like shoots and Ladders. No I'm not going to lie. No Tiddlywinks? I don't even you know what that is. You have to say it like that. Tiddlywinks? Do you with Jazz Fingers? <laughs> yes. Um, not even sure what that is. But, yeah, we do want to show you guys some of the fun games we've been playing. We've been having a lot of fun with it. So we want to uh, turn you guys on Poof. to it. Uh-huh. There it goes. Marco said Afro Man's gonna be playing at the trap uh, this week. That's no. Uh, uh, he said uh, Afro Man. Oh, it, it went up the screen. Uh, is playing at the trap. Is right. Uh, uh, oh, it went off my screen. Uh, 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 I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Afro Man's playing at the trap next Saturday. That's like right here. That's like a palm day. That's like two miles away. Come back to me. Who knows who Afro Man is? <laughs> Probably nobody. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was. Jason does. I know Jason. Yeah. Does. He's from out here. Yes, he's from Palmdale. Not from here. Not from where you're from, but from the next town over where I am from. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and he sings a song about it. <laughs> and he you're, apparently wants Palmdale to come back to him. I don't know why. You're from across the train tracks. Well, no, because the train tracks run this way. Jay says, I'm flying in for Afro Man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll pick you up, bro. Just let me know when. Uh, Hannah with her member super chat. Thank you so much. Member for 15 months. Thank you for the support. We appreciate you and love having you here. This is live from a kitchen somewhere in Lancaster. It's Friday night. Let's get baked. Also, I'll probably be knitting, so I may not be as active in chat. No worries, friend. Also, make sure you post pictures of what you're knitting. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, Jess says there was happy tears. I, I can only imagine. Yeah, Dan sent me, he texted me a picture of uh, Steve, like, sitting at the table in Jess's basement, and obviously I recognized the background. I was like, wait, what, is that Steve? What? And 
Dan's responses were all caps, tons of exclamation marks, tons of OMGs. I can't believe it. He was very, very excited. And somehow Jess and Steve managed to keep that a secret from you. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Good I job, know. you guys. Good job. That was the best surprise ever. Um, don't break the ice. No, I never played that. I never had that game. I did play Don't Break. I did play Don't Break the Ice. It was all these plastic squares that were together. Yes, and held you had together to by tap, like tension. And you had to tap them out. And hope that they that one was all fun. Fall. It, it came out in the same time that like Don't Spill the Beans came out, where you had to put the beans didn't and the beans and cooties and like stuff like that. Oh, I love cootie. Yes. Cootie's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, Brittany with her member super chat member for 18 months. It's like a contest here, you guys. I lost track of days with no lives. I, I know what day it is keeping track of what live it is. Me too, friend. Me too. Uh, Dan came home last night and was like, tomorrow's Saturday, right? Like, clearly he lost track as well. A little bit. Uh, Steve says, Colt 45 and two zigzags. Oh, my God. I almost <laughs> want to go, but the tra that trap ain't big enough. Literally, the trap's a mile and a half from here, maybe. It's the one right up here, right? the motorcycle one? Yeah. The trap is every time you hear a motorcycle go by, they're going right there to the trap. <laughs> to or from. Like, yes. right there to the Except trap. for the guy with the beatbox. I don't know that he is. But we're all going to see that type of person there. For Marco, are you going? Because he, like, he knows Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, like, if he goes, we'll go with him? Jiu-jitsu. Wow. <laughs> Too many J's, huh? <laughs> um, so, we could go. Otherwise, it's going to be crazy. There's no way. That place is too small. How many people do you think really want to see Afro Man in Lancaster? Well, look, I'm looking at the audience, and there's 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 Nanda. <laughs> Nanda's seen in all the lyrics. Nanda knows. And Marco, and you, and me. There's four right there. So who, who's the other two? <laughs> <laughs> two of the motorcycle guys that right. didn't duck out. I know, right? <laughs> um, did Blake like his present? Okay, he did not open it yet because we did not do a live since he's been here, and now he's at his mom. So next week on since he's been gone. <laughs> Next week on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. How, what, what, day we have, of, what day of the week was that? What? I was trying to Wednesday? think because I can't remember if it's Tuesday or Wednesday still. I'm still getting mixed up on Are we those. back to Wednesdays? Um, we're back to Wednesdays. And on Wednesday, he will be here and we will be doing Pictionary. So I'll have him open it then. I wanted you to be able to get your payoff of him opening it. So can you wait till Wednesday? Wednesdays are better because uh, I don't have to move the computer back and forth so many times. <laughs> right. <laughs> From Tuesday yes. streets. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, uh, sorry guys. Uh, Amanda will not be baking a long tonight due to having to bake five, yes, five dozen cookies for AJ's school bake sale. Spent three hours doing it last night. Um, I, I applaud your effort. Good job. Way to be an awesome mom. And I also applaud your son's school for allowing you to bring homemade goods. Remember when Blake was in elementary school and the beginning of junior high and you could not bring homemade things? Like, nope, bring a box of Twinkies or some cupcakes from the grocery store. Yeah. Ugh. Then he started going to a private school that allowed us to bake things and that's where I really flourished. That was fun. I made so many things for that school and all their damn bake sales and the, the Christmas tree lot and the Valentine's <laughs> thing and the color run and everything had Crystal's cookies there. The color run's just the worst thing ever. Who Like, that needs to be re evaluated <laughs> they had fun with it, it I, they had a lot of fun it was with in it. my ears and nose and it was just like it, I, we did, they're running so they're huffing air and they're just breathing in all the <laughs> no, shots absolutely like, yeah it. and blake with his asthma yeah certainly and they're was just not breathing in i'm like what i didn't this? have a mask i think we, we brought him a mask to put oh on before gosh. masks were a thing um let's see uh nana wants to know if everyone's jelly that she got to see the set she she has not been here since before uh pandemic quarantine and all that stuff so before we had a new kitchen and it was so awesome like we've done so much to the house since the last time she was here and i felt really good that she was walking around like oh my god it looks so good your house is so cool i thank you nanda you kind of boosted my ego a little bit although i am in the process of um planning some redecorating because it's been too long and i like change uh cyber husky says steve got tears but i got hugs on saturday yes dan went to the expo and saw cyber husky and sarah and drew and help me out. Who else did you see? Alexis? You're so bad with, like, names and remembering who I you saw, saw. I saw. No, I know you named them all. That was great. Was that all of them? Okay. You know what? I was, I was queued up for. I edited a video for Jess tomorrow on Gone to the Snow Dogs channel. Not the vlog channel. The dogs channel. So you'll get to see the video of the dogs at the expo tomorrow. I think tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Please tomorrow. confirm or deny, Jess. Tomorrow. So uh, there is a video already up of of what had happened like it'll be up tomorrow before like any of the vlogs go up because then you won't see ugh, you won't see the it in the vlogs until like thursday or friday 
So if you want to see what happened and see if you if you were there, see if you made it in. Um, spoiler, you probably didn't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. If you were here and you were there, you were in the there. Yeah, I made sure of it. Gotcha. I made sure. Um, Nanda says that if Marco yes, goes tomorrow. and we go, she will go. Marco says, nope, too small and fights might break out. Steve says he would fly out to see Afro Man. Marco, <laughs> there's no way that it's not going to be rugged there, right? I mean, it's our town and it's small and stuff. Oh, okay, yes, it's tomorrow. Yeah, it was insane. It was even going through all the footage today, it was like anxiety driven. Of uh, people and their kids and parenting, and you can do the equation on that. <laughs> um, yes, uh, but it was a good time. We we still had a really really good time. We were just on like alert a lot, uh, just on high alert. But the video is really super cute. It'll be out tomorrow. Can I call? Because I edited. It. You know, I made it. Right. My. Yeah, you call with my it? hands. Uh, she so, says yes tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Sorry, I'm behind on the chat here because I'm trying to catch up on things. Um. Dr. Trey's never heard of Afro Man. Okay. I bet you have if you've heard the song Because I Got High. That's Afro Man. I think everybody's heard that in a movie or something somewhere. Um, what else is going on? Amanda says, that's the first time I've been able to bring homemade things. Normally for all the holidays, it's store-bought things. I love bringing homemade things to school functions. That's I, I kind of uh, do miss that from Blake being in school. Uh, Nicholas, am I going to pronounce this right? Lubbock says, hi, I'm new here. I'm Nanda's fiance. Hold up and take a step back, bro. <laughs> You're getting a little ahead of yourself, but hello and welcome. Nice to see you here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Marco wants you to tell him one good thing that came out of the trap. <laughs> Marco said what? He wants you to tell him one good thing that came out of the trap. Have you ever been in there? No. You didn't go to the trap? No. I don't even think it's called the trap anymore, but it will always be the trap. It's like wood and dingy and dark, and it looks like what you think it would look like. In fact, I'll find you a link to it. <laughs> uh, where else are we? Uh, Jess says it was hard because Eleanor is so new, yeah. and it was her first expo. Oh, and she did amazing. Good, good. Hey, Dan. Yeah? Doris wants to know if you ever found any open Tim Hortons. So I got mad at the Tim Hortons, and you'll see it in the video, because <laughs> I was so stoked. It was halfway to Grand Rapids, and I hop out, and I'm like, walk into the Tim Hortons, and it said closed. And I was so sad that I did may you, or may not have it? given it the one finger salute. <laughs> and then people, then when I told the story to people at the expo, they're all like, oh, I had Tim Hortons for breakfast. And I was <laughs> did just you like, shed another tear? Oh, but... And then when Steve showed up, he showed up with 50 Timbits. No, 50? 50 Wait, are Timbits, Timbits, they're like donut holes, yeah? They're, but they're pretty good size. But they're, it's not a full-size donut. No, he didn't bring you 50 donuts. No, but... Because if he did, I might leave you and marry him. But, Steve, if you showed up with 50 donuts, I'm your new fiancé. Is that the theme? That's a movie, 50 First Donuts. <laughs> yes. I know it is, right? Donuts are my weakness. Um, they were a little bit bigger, and I went to Jess's treadmill and lined them up. <laughs> <laughs> Just open your mouth. There was a lot of us downstairs hanging out. But the last night before I left, after I missed my flight the first time, when we were downstairs <laughs> telling stories, we Paul, we ate, there was like three Timbits left. We Jesus. tore up the Timbits. So yes, I've, I've had my fill of Timbits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I did get redemption. Uh, Dr. Matrice says, I wish there were pet expos in California so I could meet Jess, Jamie, Dan, and the dogs. They're actually, well, I don't we, know how regularly they are, but we did all go to a pet expo in LA one time. Yeah, 28... 19? 2019 we went to what the petcon 2019 was it 19? i think it was 2019 it was right when she got kira yep it was 2019 yeah so we went we all went to la petcon and jess it, was in our town not our house because she had all the dogs and we had all the cats and that's just a recipe for disaster but, but she went to the bike shop and blake and i went down there and met the dogs and then uh you and i went down to the expo yeah we all went to the expo <laughs> That was, yeah, so we did that. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't advise coming back to the LA for a pet expo anymore. That was... It was a little chaotic. It was we were chaotic. outside. Yeah, that was awesome. That was, I mean, it's LA. Who wants to be outside? Come on. Right. Um, Jess says, wait, you missed your flight, Dan? And I'm sorry, Amanda said that. We will get to that. We, we should probably make cookies. Aren't we here to get baked? Mm -hmm. Let's let's do this. Let's get started. I'm sure we'll have some downtime. We'll tell you all about Dan's dramatic story. Uh, Marco says, one good thing I can think of is coming out of the trap without being shot. There you go. Oh, That's yeah. about I, it. I was going to find the trap. Yes. Okay. So we're going to preheat our oven to 325, which I always like to see because if you cook it at a higher temperature, they tend to get a little harder on the outside. So I always like when a recipe has cookies at 325. So let's preheat that. And as always, we are going to start with our dry ingredients. 
<laughs> Thanks, Jason. He texted me, oven bro. <laughs> Appreciate you. All right. Flour, powdered sugar, cornstarch, and salt. All of our dry things. I'm excited. I felt like that thing when you go on vacation and you really don't want to go back to work, but then like I got to work and I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm hanging out with my friends again. Yeah, you good? Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> we'll see. There's definitely no drinking tonight though, because I'm hungry. Um, we're going to do two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I did also see, uh, I think it was Cyber Husky said uh, <laughs> she's been told she has to pay attention because hubby wants her to make these. I've never made these before. I love toffee. I love shortbread. But for some reason, I've never made a toffee shortbread cookie. But just recently, I went to a grocery store I don't usually go to on uh, out in Palmdale with Afro Man and found some uh, Heath Bits on sale, and they weren't even expired. So I needed to do something with them. So I figured that this would be a good choice. All right. I put it in the chat. It's called the King Bar now. And look, you can see over here, Look at, if you can kind of peek over here, it looks exactly like what you think it would be. No, <laughs> got an outdoor patio area there. Oh, and wow. And Afro Man, sure enough, is showing up over there. Interesting. Did you yelp it? Is that... No, I, uh, oh, it, Facebook? It directed me to the Facebook page, so you can see uh, it looks better than it did before. It used to be like... And now it's like... So. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. no one wants to go there. Except, uh, Steve says, maybe I don't want to fly out to see Afro Man in that case. No. There's a million other reasons to fly out. That's not one of them. Um, but if you do, please bring donuts and I'll marry you. <laughs> bring Timbits. <laughs> any, I'm not picky. As long as it's not Krispy Kreme, we're in. I'm, I'm good. Um, these sound like a Girl Scout cookies. Yes, I, and I don't remember what they're called. There's some on, on, on my mom's desk right now at work because I got a box of them and I wasn't really very impressed. They were kind of preservative-y tasting and not very good. So I, I gave the whole box to my mom. But... We're going to try to make them ourselves and see if they're any better. Um, and then we want half a cup of powdered sugar. Marco, I don't know what those words mean. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you're brave shutting the air off. It's a, a nice 75 degrees out here in Southern California. Sorry for you guys who are still having winter. I came from frozen. Yeah, you did. I came from uh, I came from, from a literal ice storm. Yeah, so it was a uh, it was a lot more warm. Well, I shouldn't say that. Like it's temperature controlled in the house, and it is right. and it is here also. So you were complaining about how cold it was outside this morning when you had to move your car. It and I'm felt like, it feels right. good. That's because like about. I'm out there in shorts and a t-shirt, or like when I go outside in Michigan, we like put the appropriate jackets and stuff on before we right. go out. Everyone always says <laughs> it's not that cold if you dress correctly, and I'm sure those of you who live out there do. Out here, we don't know how, and we don't have those kinds of clothes. I don't even think you can even buy correct clothing in our town for the weather out there. And <laughs> Steve said, the promo material for the show is awful. I saw that too, the flyer. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty bad. Is it is it on par with Lancaster like flyers for a events? Absolutely. Linda said, how many crunchies did you share with your mom at the end? Um, I ended up giving her two whole sleeves. You sent four sleeves of ten. I sent her a picture and said, Look what was in the package. And she said, is that all for me? <laughs> and I laughed at her and said, no, but you can have half. She but like now excited. she understands the, because it's, it's worth more than gold by weight that she paid for last time. So yes. <laughs> by that amount, she got, she's like, has riches. She's rich. Yes, absolutely. She's crunchy bar rich. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty damn happy. Um, I also gave her one of the crunchy cake bars. She was not impressed. She took one bite and came and brought it back to me. and was like, uh-uh, no. I told her she wasn't going to like it because it's chocolate cake inside. And I said, it's kind of like a, which one is it? The Ho-Ho's? Yeah. And I told her it was kind of like that. She's like, I'll have it because I like Ho-Ho's. I'm like, mm, but it's chocolate cake. And I knew she wasn't going to like it, but I wasted one on her. She took one bite and brought it back to me and then I had to eat it. But I like them. I don't care what she says. All right. So we had uh, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of powdered sugar, quarter cup cornstarch, and half a teaspoon of salt. Those are all of our dry ingredients. Cyber Husky says, hubby wears shorts anytime it's over 40. See, I'm the opposite. Um, anytime I leave my house, I have pants on. I do not wear shorts out of the house. Sometimes like below the knees, I think they're called skimmers, below the knee shorts. Um, but no, I, I, 110 degrees out here, I've still got pants on. I, I just don't like to wear shorts. KK wants to know if I have ever been to Michigan. Yes, I have in uh, 2020. Was it 2020? It was 
the, the year of nobody leaves their house, I uh, braved a flight and went out there in the summertime in June or July. Beautiful. We picked the perfect time. There wasn't even any bugs. It wasn't too cold. It wasn't too humid. It was nice. It was really nice. I liked it. We lit, we lit off fireworks. We did light off fireworks and one tried to take my eye out. It like hit me right right. Oh, that's here. right. Yeah. That was yeah. great. Was it? Oh, yeah. Oh. I was laughing. Remember? Ha 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 ha. I, I was swearing. Ha ha at your expense. <laughs> it was a good time, though. It was. I enjoyed it. It was um, very much greener than I'm used to seeing. And there was a damn wild turkey running down the road, and I've never seen that in my life. That that was the biggest, like, WTF moment while I was there. Just like, that's the thing. It, it, it's just, that doesn't belong to anybody. It's just a turkey running down the side of the road. That... Do you see this? Yeah, mind blown. Uh, you did in September. No, it wasn't September. We went in... in uh, it was 4th of July region time because... Yeah, it was uh, just had before 4th of July. So it must July. have been the end of June. Yeah. I just need to wipe this out because I haven't been used in a while. Marco, 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 this weekend's WrestleMania. Like, <laughs> night one of three is on right now. Are you excited? I am. I know that you are. Uh-huh. All right, so this recipe takes a whopping two sticks of butter... We are going to beat them with the vanilla until light and fluffy. Oh, I think I have sticks in my eyes. Uh, Dan, you saw a flock of uh, turkeys in a field this time? Yeah, <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like, it was just like free Thanksgiving. It's just, <laughs> I don't get it. That was kind of what I thought. Like, aren't these supposed to be on farms and like harvested for meat eaters? I just don't understand. Like, sometimes, I don't know who they belong to. If that was free, if it was like the fruit or it was just like free. <laughs> like the fruit? Right. But they were running around. Either they escaped and like, but like, even old McDonald, like, you you got to keep track of your stuff. You can't just have the turkeys running around doing turkey stuff. <laughs> oh, and then there was geese. What is turkey stuff? Just like gobble gobble. Stay away from the geese, they're mean. They have those in uh, Aurora. Jason and I went to a store at some point while I was there, and you drive past this lake that's on the side of the road, and there's just geese everywhere, and they're mean. They'll chase you. I, I did not have any interactions with them, but... I guess, these were Canadian. I, plugged it in. <laughs> I guess these were Canadian geese, and I didn't really... Are they extra mean, or are they super polite and apologizing? I didn't think I really saw any of them, because, like, it was weird. Dressed as, like, Predator. We're, like, <laughs> driving in the car, and she's like, look, there's a bunch of, like, deer in the woods. And I had to stare at the woods, like, those stupid photos till it showed up <laughs> as we were going by. And I'm like, how did you see that? So she'd be like, look, it's a Canadian goose. And all I heard was the horn, like the, <laughs> yes. the and exactly like the horn. And so I didn't really see much, but I like, I heard them. It sounded like the 1930s with their Model T cars and their horns. But yeah, the turkey was just like, it didn't look like it had an agenda. No. The one I saw was running, like, hauling ass down the side of the road. Uh, Jess says we, we saw a snowy owl, too, but only for a glimpse. It was white, and it was beautiful, and it was, like, on a t it came swooshing in on a telephone pole and had a little Hogwarts, like, envelope in its hand. <laughs> I have so seen big. owls out here, like, usually driving out to Roseman down Sierra Highway where there's, like, nothing. It's just dirt on both sides. At night, you see, like, just... And it's big, and it flies across the road, and Brown. it's terrifying. Yes, usually. Yeah, this one was like white. It probably like try to wink at me or something, but but I did see that one. I did see. I was like, Ooh. Uh, Adele says that turkeys are horrible creatures. She was attacked by one on a farm when she was like ten and has never recovered from the trauma. That's how they get their stuff. <laughs> wow. <eating. They're>, ah. <laughs> Um, Carrie wants to know, I'm sure this has been discussed before, but where did you get those canisters for flour? All of the stuff that you see me use on the show, all of my baking tools and stuff, you can find at gettingbakerycrystal.com. There is a link to the kit, which links to all the stuff. They're on Amazon. Um, I can't remember exactly what they're called. Uh, progressive. Dan's going to post the link. But you can always go to gettingbakerycrystal.com and there's a link to the kit for the show. These are amazing and I love them. It has been discussed before, but I will never stop talking them up. They've got a little rubber seal here, so if you have a problem with, like, weevils or ants or anything like that, they will not get inside of them. The flour and the powdered sugar one? Yeah. Have this little leveling, this thing here. Um, the one for the brown sugar has the little terracotta disc that mounts into the top so it's not sitting in your uh, brown sugar and it keeps it from getting hard. I have not had hard brown sugar since I got this. And the powdered sugar one also has... 
this so you can sprinkle powdered sugar on top of things, like a little mesh there. I highly recommend these and I love them. I think uh, several of you have gotten them. I know Amanda got some recently. I don't know if you've used them yet. I haven't talked to you about that, but if anybody's used them, uh, please let us know what you think in the chat. I love them. I think they're great and they're not that expensive. And if you purchase them through my link, I do get some pennies, so that would be much appreciated. Just pennies, but it helps. Marco uh, says, wait till you try wild turkey liquor. Maybe that's where they get it from. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so my butter is pretty fluffy. Let's see what our next step is. All right, mix in the dry ingredients until almost combined. Then fold in the toffee bits until just combined. The dough might seem dry and crumbly, but it will come together when you roll it in your hands. I'm taking your word for it, bro. So did you have a party while I was gone? No, no. I got to build Lego with Blake, which made me really happy because I love Lego. And he bought this really big Technic car set with like 1,400 a, pieces or something. It was an F1 McLaren. Thanks, because I couldn't remember. Um, but the night that Dan left, Blake comes out and he's like, do you want to help me build my Lego soon? I was like, can I? Can I help you? Can I help you? We spent four hours and got halfway through the damn set. There's still about uh, a quarter of it left to build. But it was fun. Uh, so we did that. Um, he pretty much just hung out and did his thing, and I hung out and did my thing. Nanda came over. That was a lot of fun. We watched the Jackass movie. If you guys have Paramount Plus, the new Jackass movie is up on there. That was a lot of fun. And what else did we do? Well, that's about it. And then I hung out uh, by myself. Blake left on Monday, and it was just me and the cats. Paddle's not in the right spot to make this easy. Oh, I made a mess. Uh, Jason says, I'll punch the crap out of a goose. <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, Holly wants to know where Mooch is. You can't see him, but he's in his usual spot. I don't want to disturb him because then he's going to try to climb up here, but I'm sure he'll make an appearance later. <laughs> Uh, Adele just went to go check out my website and misspelled baked with naked. Thankfully there was no website, but that could have ended really oh. badly. <laughs> Coming soon. Uh, the one thing, Amanda says, the one thing I'm having a problem with is the terracotta disc drying out a lot in the brown sugar one. How long would you recommend soaking it? So the instructions that I got with it were to soak it for 15 minutes every three months or so. And I've not had an issue... I don't even keep track of how often I do it. You guys see me. Usually when I run out of brown sugar, I'll soak it for 15 minutes. Um, when you dry it, just pat it dry. Don't like really try to like rub it and dry it. Just pat it gently dry with a towel. Um, you know, we're in drier climates, friend. So if it dries out too quickly, um, dry it out again or soak it again. You also probably have air conditioning in your house because you're in Arizona and y'all don't do swamp coolers. So the swamp cooler does add moisture for us in the summertime. So that may be drying it out a little bit more for you. Uh, so I would suggest, I don't know how long you've gone in between soaks, but if you notice it's looking dry and it's not doing the trick, soak it again. Chris is here. Hello, Chris. Thank you for joining us. You missed all the best stories. Are we his last service call? <laughs> Maybe. All right, so yes, the recipe was right. This is quite dry. It's going to be a little tricky to dump the heath bits in. One cup, that's not much at all. We'll see. Whew. These cats are just molting. Oh, oh they're oh. shedding so bad. Oh, my gosh. Topo Clump. bad. Clump. What's funny is Rizzo's long-haired cat barely sheds at all. Topo walks by you, and I swear he just poof. And the hair oh, is just Kumiko, all over Kumiko you. Oh, too. Yes. And Mooch. She's, yeah. And it's just like so much. I'd blow them out, but they don't, like, want that. There's lots of that. Uh, There's no blowing out their coat. Heath dust. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe that's why they were on clearance. They've been smashed to bits. I'm going to try to dump this in a bowl so I can get more of the whole bits. There's lots and lots of dust in here. 
I love toffee. Uh, Amanda says, I'll just need to bake at least once a month to make sure the brown sugar doesn't dry out. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I think if we lived in a more humid climate, it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but because we're in deserty areas, it's gonna wanna dry out more. Make sure your seal is on correctly. I've honestly not had any issue with my brown sugar drying out, so I don't know. Make sure it's sealed right and just, just keep soaking that little terracotta disc. Marco says, I love going to Texas and talking about swamp coolers. They look at me crazy. <laughs> I'm saying. Swamp coolers work so well out here, unless it's half a little piece of humid. Even like 5% humidity and you're just like, it's not working. And there's probably 50% dust in here. But how do we not know he was coming to town? Like, there's like billboards and stuff. Where's that at? The billboard. Town I don't drive the to? billboards up by the old Sizzler. <laughs> like that's the <laughs> old abandoned Sizzler behind us. Right. Remember that Sizzler bread? Jason says uh, his brown sugar dries out too. In that you have the same container I have. You have problems with it? I've never had a problem. But I do go through it really, really quickly. So, yeah. If you're not even baking once a month, then that might be the problem. Because you know I bake at least once a week, sometimes more. I may have to just sprinkle this over my cereal or something. What you doing over there, Dan? Trying to figure out how to get to, like, how much... I was going to say, you trying to find Afro-Man tickets? Yeah, like, I just want to... How know. much do you think the tickets are? Like, um, five bucks? <laughs> just a true drink minimum. You don't have to pay to go in. You just have to buy drinks. I'm, I'm looking. Probably, like, 25 bucks. How far has Afro-Man fallen that he's just playing at the dive bar? Like, not even the fairgrounds. No, huh? Ooh, hey, Dan. Yeah. Marco says he used to freeze plastic soda bottles and put them in the swamp cooler. Dan has suggested uh, getting dry ice, which I told him was probably not a good idea. I wanted to put a big piece of dry ice in there, but I think we decided it was going to kill me. I, I think that's exactly what I decided. <laughs> that's definitely not a good idea. Oh, my God, my fingers are covered in toffee, and I just want to go off camera and eat it all. BRB. What you doing over there? Eating toffee dust off my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Don't judge me. Marco said the tickets are 30 bucks. Are you serious? Wow. Wow. I don't think I would pay 30 bucks to see Afro Man. Like, it's in my iTunes because everybody bought that CD back in the day. But I don't even know the last time I listened to it. I don't care that much. Like, if I was somewhere and he was playing, I'd be like, oh, that's the two Here, songs I know. Here is the problem. is It started with A, so for a while it was always the first thing <laughs> that would play on, what was it, your I, it was your iPod, I think, back in the yes. day. Yes, yes. It would always play that. We'd have to change the songs because it's, it would always start out with A for Afro Man. <laughs> Jason says, 30 bucks to get shot at? Jason knows. I'm going to use my hands because this is very dry. He said that's cheap. Yeah, but like it should but be. For Afro Man? Yeah, it should be like 20 bucks. Oh, uh, what's a swamp cooler? A swamp cooler is this box I have on the roof. Oh, uh, it's it's also called an evaporative cooler. It cools using water. So it works really well in drier climates like the desert. If here in Arizona and stuff. It blows air through a wet pad. Yes. It, or it opposite drips of it. water and gets some pads wet and then the air blows through and the it's like got a what's the word I'm looking for? Like a pan full of water at the bottom. And the cool air comes into the house. Yeah, it makes the, but, the air cool through water. Cool air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I will say it is much cheaper than an air conditioner, that's for damn sure. Right. Oh my god, this already looks so good and I'm so excited for it. Okay, so our next step is to scoop the dough using a tablespoon or cookie scoop, roll the dough into a ball and place two inches apart on the prepared baking sheets, flatten slightly with the palm of your hand and bake for 15 minutes. Hannah says, I may have messed up, now I'm in a tan mess. Those at home spray tans 
never work out right. I get it. Oh. Yeah. Really? I think so. She's in a tan mess. I'm sure it was at home spray tan. Is that? Are you are you spray tanning, Cannon? Uh, the gaming ham suggests getting liquid nitrogen to cool the place down quicker. Speaking of that, um, Jess bought a bunch of those nitro Pepsis that we saw at the store. I saw them at the store one time. I don't know. And it's like is. a nitro. It's Pepsi, but inside there is like nitrous. Oh, like for really? Yeah. So yeah, but not that kind of wall wall nitrous. <laughs> you're not you're not hitting it. Thanks for clarifying. You're not putting your <laughs> mouth over the lid when it opens. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it was so malty. It was so malty and good. Yeah, were you down? Oh yeah, it was. It was great. It was almost like a like if you put some ice cream there, it would have been like a like a milkshake or a malt thingy. I don't know. It was so good. It was interesting. Thick. Okay. So yes, we're... nitrogen, not nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> See <you> too. <laughs> be a lot cooler if it was. It uses nitrogen instead of carbon dioxide. Isn't carbon dioxide just everybody's exhales? Isn't that what it is? Don't we breathe out? Is that what, don't we breathe out carbon dioxide? Yes, I think so. So it's just used air. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. But it was uh, it was good. It was really good. We got the Pepsi vanilla or something like that. And it was like thick. So it's like any sort of regular flavors of Pepsi, but it uses the nitrogen instead of... Like that's, right. that's the only difference. It's not right. like a specific um, flavor. Yes, this one we got was van vanilla, I think maybe. So it tasted like, and they had regular, but we only got, we got like the pack of vanilla. Gotcha. So it tasted like, eh, it tasted just like a, like a milkshake. It was really, like, like a root beer float style with the, the bubbles are smaller. Oh, is that why I was able to fit more bubbles in my mouth? <laughs> I wonder what I would think about it because I, I don't like carbonation. Um, like that's one of the main reasons I don't drink soda. I wonder, like, is the carbonation, does it, it feel different? It felt like a root beer float, not the taste, but it felt like a root beer float. I don't know how to explain it. Where it has like that like head on it, and then it like, it felt thick in my mouth. Like like I felt like I could chew it. I don't know. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna let that go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna let it go, Dan. I recommend it. It's creamy. See, Steve knows the word. Creamy and thick in your mouth, huh, Dan? Right. You would like it. It's not really carbonated. We'll have to try one. They sell them in singles at the store. I'll grab one we'll and we'll one. try. But it was good. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Mark, are you new here? It's not always PG. There's there's lots of innuendo. We're never outright inappropriate, but if your head's in the right place, you know what we mean. <laughs> yep, see, Chris knows. I knew if I didn't say it, Chris would. Hannah got all her yarn tangled. Aww. I saw I saw people taking the yarn and uh and the lids to the to the stove or to the to the stove cookers they were taking like the pan lids they were taking like this and they were putting their yarn under there and pulling it through here and then that's how they were winding it on their um I, it was like this whole i believe that people that knit on the regular have like you you get your skein of yarn and you do a thing with it and put it on something else because you don't want it like fresh off the skein because it doesn't work on where, right. where's kathy kathy will know right 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 Hey, Mooch looks comfortable in his new bed. He does. I think he had the new bed last time we streamed, but Mooch got a new bed, and I, th I think he loves it. I wasn't sure at first. He was kind of hesitant, but he's been all about it. Dan can fit a lot in his mouth. I ate so much. I ate so much pizza when we had pizza night because they got they get like BLT pizzas and other like fun pizzas. Ew. <laughs> it was so good. Oh my gosh. So. I did eat, yes, Steve, you were correct. So what you're telling me is you need a week of, like, carrots and broccoli and salad. <laughs> right. I, you just I ate need, a bunch of bullshit while I you're need, gone. I need green. <laughs> um, how did it go with the snow dogs, Dan? It was a lot of fun, uh, which you'll start to see tomorrow on Gone to the Snow Dogs, uh, where one of our videos will start going up there. And then throughout the week, next week, mostly towards the end, you'll get to see all the fun we had. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Bradley says hi. Hi, Bradley. Oh, guess what, guys? So Leslie and Jake announced a new tour, but it's only like Midwest, Upper East Coast area. So guess who's flying out to Chicago in July? I'm, I know I said I wouldn't go while there was a baby, but it's Less Than Jake, Aquabats, and Bowling for Soup. How could I not? So hello, Bradley. I'm coming to see you right after the 4th of July. Hopefully that, that sense of time means something to him. We just uh, have to, so you have a concert ticket. I have a concert ticket. I don't have a flight. Or a hotel. <laughs> I don't need a hotel. I'm staying with Jason. Did you ask him? 
<laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Before I bought him a ticket to the concert, yeah, I asked him. <laughs> well, he's going to be like, yeah, you can come out here, but you can't stay with me? I'm just messing with you. You don't have siblings, so you don't understand. That's the problem. Okay, it wants us to flatten these slightly. Uh, Bowling for Soup would be dope. I have seen them when they first came out with their first album and they just had the, the one song, The Girl All the Bad Guys Want. I went to Warp Tour that year and they were on the dinkiest little side stage with like 10 people just standing there like, like nobody was interested. My dumb ass went right up to the front singing along to all the songs because I had the album already and I was all excited. Uh, I bought a Bowling for Soup shirt that has them drawn in the South Park style of character and had uh, some of them sign it. And, uh, Don't you have their juices? I do. I have a Bowling for Soup Jones soda that's now quite brown when it used to be yellow because I never opened it and drank it. But it's a Bowling for Soup label on it. I, I kind of love You've been them. down for them for a long time. Since that first album came out, absolutely. I like them, and I've only seen them that one time, so I'm excited to see them again. Um, um, I've seen the Aquabats, I think, just the once. Chris said, uh, Crystal doesn't need a hotel. She has a spot on the tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure his girlfriend's gonna be there, so let's not talk about it. What's her name? Honey Buns? Uh, Happy Honey Buns? Nikki. Nikki Baby. (laughs) We're not gonna talk about it. Crystal, you gonna try for a trade again? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but I'm out of Garfield kick cards. (laughs) You're gonna find something else you like. Oh, Fortnite. He's down, like, he's down for Fortnite, so you're going to have to learn. Oh, I know what it is. You can swoo him with the Fortnite dances. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. That's it. That's what and, I'm doing. Yeah, you have to <laughs> Look, swoo him with the Fortnite I'm gonna go, dances. So whenever I see less than Jake, I, I told you guys before, I always stand on Roger's side of the stage because I love his energy and I, I love Roger. I'm going to stand there right in front of him and what, what's the dance? Is this how you do it, Dan? Wow. You look like... <laughs> wow. You make, like when you do it? Right. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. That's the first time I've ever tried. Wow. <laughs> okay. These are going to go in the oven for 15 minutes. <laughs> Did you like that, Dan? Actually, I don't want to know if I ever, like, I ever, we should now ban that from the house. Please from don't make a gift. Both Can sides. we ban it? Because I'm so sick of watching you do it. <laughs> uh, Nicole, 117 underscore away. Welcome to the RFS fam. Thank you so much. If you guys don't know already, that gets you early access to members first vlogs. Dan will probably have one up soon, but you can go up there and watch um, on the yes. community tab. There was one that. All the vlogs we put up. I went up, I put one up the day we left, the day I left. Yes. yes. So there is a new-ish one up there. So make sure you go and check those out. Your name will also now be in green so I can see you better. And you'll get a little mohawk next to your name so we can see how long you've been a member. Right now it is, I think, red. Mm -hmm. I can't really tell. Thank you. Um, And you will have access to uh, the members only emoji sticker thingies in the chat. Uh, Thank you. Brittany says the Bowling for Soup singer is a teen mom fan. (laughs) Good to know. Not sure how I know, how you know that, but... Oh, because... I know Brittany's been watching all of her videos again because I see every time that happens. Um, she gotcha. is a teen mom aficionada. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, hey, Dan, Guttermouth's playing at Transplants this month. Are Ooh. you going to that, Marco? Because I would be down to see Guttermouth. I've never seen them. Yeah? Yeah. They open up I don't that know whole... how I feel about Transplants, but... They open up that whole second side. It's not... Yes. You know how I know? Because my company is uh, working on that. Yeah. Yeah, um, but there's somebody that I don't like that works there, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, Lily C.K. says, the floss, <laughs> that was silly, Crystal. Literally the first time I've ever done that. I don't even know how that looked. It was probably stupid. I learned it by watching Dan. Uh, Marco says, Marie and I always go to see them. Please um, let us know. Can you, like, text us or slide into my inbox, slide in my DMs, and let me know when that is? Because I would like to see that. They have they have a few people, like, like uh, Voodoo Glow Skulls come around all the time, too, and they're always playing at these little places and stuff. Yeah, I don't go to any shows out We're here. We're too old for that. Dan, you might be too old for that. Have you seen me at a concert lately? At least when Roger's there, I'm maybe, not too old. Maybe for Animal Valley show. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Do you think young kids are going to see Gutter Mouth? Yeah, I mean, young kids want to go do stuff on a Friday night, and if it's live music, then it's... But if they're young enough, they have no problem driving to L.A. to go see a real, like, venue place Fair thing, enough. you know? Fair right? Enough. Like, remember when you were 20 and it was no big deal to go drive two hours to go see a show and drive home? I know, right? Remember when I did that last year and it was a big deal? <laughs> you were pretty... You, that was a pretty good uh, turn and burn for you. Uh, Marie says, when is Gutter Mouth playing? Um, I love that you're asking in the chat. Are you guys not in the same room? Can you turn and ask Marco to tell me? <laughs> love it. 
Uh, she says they're super fun live. Oh, it's, it's been a minute. I would like to go to another live show. I'm excited to go see Less Than Jake with my brother. We always have fun. My brother is the only person I can go to a show with that matches my energy and neither of us ever has to be like, are you okay? You good? You want to go sit down? Like, there's never any of that. We both just go right up to the front. He watches out for me. He's the best, like, he has the best concert etiquette for how I am at a concert. Like, if we get up front, he will stand behind me and grab the rail so nobody can squish me. He's the best. He's really the best. No offense, Dan. But um, Dan likes to stand in the back and clutch his purse. He doesn't really jump in the pit or anything. I like to enjoy the show. Okay. If that's what you call clutching your purse from the back of the venue. <laughs> I like to jump in the pit. I like to be as close as I could possibly be. I like to jump and scream and dance and have fun. And uh, Jason does that with me, and that's the best. Uh, Marco says May 14th they're playing. We may have to do that. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. What, what day is May 14th? Can we cancel our show? It's a Saturday. Why don't we just do live? <laughs> we'll do Dantix live from the Guttermouth show. Marie says, let's go. Let's do it. Let's, let's let the first time we hang out in person besides my mom's house that one time at her birthday party be at a Guttermouth show. Let's do this, you guys. Uh, Lily C.K. says, okay, Crystal, question. Can you answer this? Why would you find bread mixed in with brown sugar? I keep finding brown sugar at culinary school with bread in it. Um, much of the same reason that you put bread in like a container of cookies, it helps to keep them moist. The, I don't understand the science. Um, you may have to ask somebody at your culinary school, but something along the lines of like, it takes the moisture out of the bread and gives it to the cookies. Yeah, it um, leaves the lettuce. Yes. Think so I've never done that. Mm -hmm. But I know um, one time Joel sent us some cookies and there was um, bread in it and it absolutely worked. It helps to, to keep them moist. So I imagine it does the same thing with brown sugar. I've never actually seen it in brown sugar, but because <laughs> I've seen it with cookies, I imagine it's the same thing. <laughs> um, I always, like I said, use the terracotta disc that sticks on the top of my container. One time, I, I'm on my second container because the plastic piece that holds it dried out and broke. But during that time when it was broken, before I got a new one, the disc was in the brown sugar and it like did some weird stuff. It, it pulled the molasses out of the brown sugar where it was touching the brown sugar. So then that part was just sugar, which is still fine and usable, but that was kind of weird. So yeah, I always just use the, the disc, but yeah, I imagine that that's why. Why the bread? It seems strange to me and a little weird. I think it's just an old, uh, an old trick before terracotta discs were a thing. It works. It absolutely works. If you have something that you don't want to dry out, like cookies or brown sugar, put a slice of bread in it. It works. I don't know. Uh, May 14th is Sandy's birthday. Awesome. Fly out for a gutter mouth show. Bring the baby. We'll have your mom babysit. Let's go see gutter mouth at the local uh, brewery bar place. Come on. You know you want to. Fly with a newborn. Marie says, it's a date. Awesome. Let's do this. No one under 21 there because it's at a brewery. That's my kind of show. Uh, Brittany says, science is weird. Yes, it is. And I don't really understand it. I just know that it works. That's all. So, hey, Dan. Where you at? I'm right here. We've got like nine minutes. Come tell us a story. Like, come, like just a come story? Come over here and tell, tell a story so I can eat some toffee bits. So, I, it was all set to leave. Steve and I were going to leave at the same time, which was really weird because he's got to go like through Detroit to get home. And I'm flying to Detroit. So <laughs> why didn't you just have him drive you? I guess because he didn't know he was gonna be there. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but but it was gonna be a a race to see who was gonna get there first because it was all icy out. And when it's icy, the spoiler it wasn't there. There was like places that didn't open up for business that day just because it was icy out. Like even back there where they're fairly used to the weather. Yeah, and like when you go out to get in the car, it was just like, where is he going? The trap, to the trap. To the trap. <laughs> so when you it's get night, like bro. when you get to the cars, like around the side of the cars, like a little bit of ice here and there. So it's like, oh look, like I put my foot there, and it's very slippery, right? So everything's pretty slippery. Uh, so I was concerned about missing my flight, and so I flew to Alpena, so I'm gonna fly out of Alpena, and the airport's like, you know, a handful of minutes away, like five minutes away, right? So Jess drops me off at the airport because usually I go all the way to Trevor City. So we hop in a car, drive two and a half hours to get me to the airport. Uh, this time, a few minutes. So she she drops me off at the cutest little airport. It's about as big as this room, <laughs> maybe two times big as this room. If you want to use the bathrooms, you have to go back out through TSA, which is one person. <laughs> yeah. So I sat there with all the people. You know, there's like 20 of us that are going on this little tiny plane. You know, like the 
The trap. Uh, Marie says it's the king now. Marie, it'll, oh, the always, king. it'll my, my. always be the trap. The king. <laughs> Sorry. So, so there's two seats and two seats and stuff. You know, it's a small little light plane. Meow. Right. And, and there's I, literally two a day. You have two chances to leave Alpina by plane per day. Right. So for hours before that, we spent a lot of our time just theorizing. It was like, it was the theory craft was strong on whether I was going to leave or not, right? So Jess drops me off at the airport I'm sitting there in the airport, kind of looking around, waiting to hear what was going on. You know how they have all those flight boards with all the flights? Was there like one? It's just, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the same size. It was just the one, right? <laughs> so I'm sitting there an hour before my flight. It's about an hour to Detroit, and the plane's still in Detroit. And so here's the thing. When I land, I was going to have a three-hour, a three hour, two and a half hour. No, it was less than that, I think. It was like maybe like a two-hour yeah. layover in Detroit. And I've spent so much time in Detroit. I've spent three, six, nine. I've spent about 12 hours total in the Detroit airport over the last year and a half. Like, that's because that's where the layover is, right? So, uh, I've done some time in Chicago, too. So, I'm sitting there wondering what's going to... time in Chicago? I did. I'm sitting there wondering what's going to happen. I did, like, five hours in Chicago once or something like that. It was, like, crazy, right? So I'm sitting there, ready to go, and I look down, and I'm wearing my winter jacket. And if you don't know, I have, like, a set of winter clothes that stay at Jess's house, because that's the only place they're good for. Right. So I call Jess. She comes back. <laughs> Did you, really, you didn't tell me this part? I, I don't she think I told you. to get your jacket. I don't think I told you anything. There's, like, so many stories. You know, so, you talked incessantly last night. Until I stopped, because, like, all I was doing was standing there, just regurgitating <laughs> everything I just lived and I just got home. And so Jess came back and got the jacket. That's I give her the jacket. I go back in. I'm sitting there. And I'm, Wait, how far from the airport is her house? Like from here at Walmart. Okay, um, so minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Like five minutes. Uh, so. Steve says you should have went with me to the D. Steve <laughs> could have gotten me probably there in time to kick out, to kick me out to get on the airplane. To just get on the connecting flight. Right, right. So I'm sitting there waiting and waiting. And, it's, and, I'm, and we're watching. And the time's getting pushed back further and further. And my... Home Alone times getting smaller and smaller and be having to run through the airport to get... And I have to go, like, 10 minutes away. Because it's a little plane, so it lands at the little airport, and you walk... It's like the letter H, but smaller on one side. And you have to go underground to get to the other side and, and run. So I was trying to time it in my head and time it in my head. And the guy's like, you'll make it. The guy that works there, he said, you'll make it. You'll be there, like, quarter to nine, you'll be landing on the ground. You can run to your flight in 30 minutes, no problem. And so, as it kept getting pushed back later and later, it was, I was so like, and there's the lady's like, last call for TSA, and I just like, uh, I didn't know what to do, and I didn't make the flight, right? So I'm like... Which you had to go and tell them, like, I'm not going to wait anymore, because they had to like... Yeah, and the guy, the guy was cool about it, but he still was kind of like, should have listened to me, like, I know you're going to make it. Jess says that uh, Jamie did the math and was like, you would never make it. Yeah, so the guy was like... You're, you're okay and then you like release the flight and I felt like an idiot and then so I called Jess like the walk of shame I called, <laughs> called Jess like I mean it wasn't your fault it's not like you went to the airport and missed your flight like no your flight I'm, didn't come right my yeah well it was coming but like it was still like way too far behind so the guy the, the guy thought the airplane no, the employee old man employee dude they're cool they're super nice still so I said can you really land a plane and turn and burn in 20 minutes? And he said, yeah, which they almost did. It was like 45 minutes. That's almost 20. Uh, <laughs> so the airplane ended up landing in, De in Detroit at like 10 after 9. And that's when it lands. Like, it's still got to find the gate. You got to get out. You got to get your bag because you, you have to check your bags there because it's such a small plane. You can't put your bags over in the overhead. So I would have not made my flight, So which I would have been stuck in Detroit, which means I would have uh, two things would have happened. I would have either gone to Cyber Husky's house. Or I probably would have just stayed in the airport. There was like a, Tom Hanks in Terminal. I yes, <laughs> there was a flight that was like three hours later. But then that gets me home at six in the morning. I'm too old. For, I'm not. I don't want to do that. So I stayed in the night there. So I missed my flight. And so then I went back to the house. I'm like, hey, it's me again. Like I've been here a week, but like here's so you just a, had to go to the airport a third time. A third, a third time. She yeah, a third yeah. So <laughs> she got me. It took me back to the house, and I didn't go fly out till the next day and then how, did, how did yesterday go for you uh jason says you, you could have found some you'd have found some juggalos to stay the night with 
<laughs> I could have just, Jason, I could have just stood in the, lost in the airport and just went, whoop, whoop. <laughs> they would have whooped you back. Whoop, and they were like, well, family, bro. Whoop, whoop. And, Come on. And <laughs> taking you with them. <laughs> I was going to go, I, I had it all planned. I was like, all right. If the airport's here, that means Mile Road 1's here. That means it's only seven more miles to Eminem's house. <laughs> and then Eminem? if I can go there, I'll be okay. And if not, I'm sure Kid Rock is hanging out on a street corner somewhere, somewhere. near there. Somewhere. somewhere near there. So I thought I was going to be okay. It's the home. Like, there's got to be a car there for me to ride into for free. Because don't they make the, like, isn't that where, like, the car's birthplace is? So there's going to have to be, like, car things there, right? So I thought I'd be, I thought I'd be, I thought I'd be okay. Yeah, and then it was just a long flight. Uh, it was just a long flight the next day. Yeah, you like got to the airport. What time did you get to the airport yesterday? Uh, probably at that's me landing. I got to the airport at like seven thirty Pacific, so like ten thirty. No, but like ten forty five, ten fifty. Okay, but seven uh, seven seven thirty time, time. You got home at like eight forty five p.m. I took the, I I man, I drove so fast home. I was like doing the Fast and the Furious. I didn't run out of gears like in the movie. I was like in the 10th gear. And I was like, catch race. I was driving like Ja Rule. It was, I, I flew home. I didn't think I was going to be home until like 10, 30, 11. But I, I made record. I made record time. I ran off of that airplane and I got on that shuttle bus. I made the shuttle bus as it was coming. I hopped on like it was Indiana Jones. I, <laughs> I tipped my hat as I was holding on to the end of it. I was like, yes! LA. Yeah, because that's the other thing. You didn't park at the airport. You parked at the. Fly I parked away. like an hour away at the flyaway. I took this bus that's roofless. It's like the <laughs> bus from Speed. It's just like it's great. It just like cuts through the traffic and it just goes. I've heard it's it's pretty like get out of my way. It I'm is going to the it airport. Is. When it dropped me off, there was other cars dropping off people, and it couldn't find a spot, and it just. And open up its big old blockers, and they're unloading my stuff, and there's cars <laughs> sitting there. There's cars sitting there that couldn't move just to drop us off. Yeah, it's got to make metrics. So that's the way to go. So that was rad. And then it's just yeah. like an hour drive from my house to that flyaway thing. So oh, it was cool. It stored my car there. It was like five bucks a day. So that was nice. My mom was very concerned that you were going to have to pay another five bucks. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. It, it was like 40 bucks to... To, to pay there, but gas prices are less expensive than you driving me there back there. Was back. it forty or forty five? Forty, because my mom paid forty also, and she was there one day less. But she went in the morning, and you went late at night, so you didn't pay five dollars more than seven she times five is thirty five. Plus the eighth day was forty for me. Told me she paid forty. Um, you know what? Also, I also got back a few. I also got back later than when I showed up. There. Watch out. Maybe that's why. Cookies. All right. The toffee are melting. All right, we'll Fantastic. Have that cool for a minute. Oh, I'm so excited. They're going to be so good. All right, we have some stuff going on during your story here. Um, Cyber Husky says she would have taken care of you if you needed to stick around Detroit. Yeah, uh, knock on your door. Uh, Steve must be talking about LA traffic. Uh, it took two hours to go 20 miles. <laughs> Nothing about that is fast. Um, um, I don't know. I heard, I think Steve got some fog. I think he was driving through some fog. Was he? I wouldn't have been happy about uh, that. Maybe, maybe it was him who was uh, sitting in some traffic. Eminem lives near 16 Mile Road. He's leveled up. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> that means I have to go twice as far. Mm -hmm. Jason says that Detroit is hell for a connecting flight. C says you don't want to walk around the 6, 7, 8 Mile Road. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jess says it was the right move. Being stuck in Detroit would not have been fun. No, no. It just sucked. Look, I was ready for Dan to be home. When he told me he wasn't going to make his flight, I was unhappy. I, you were all right. You were, you were snappy. No, I, no, 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 no. You weren't snappy. You were um, you were uh, audibly displeased but not mad at me. Right. I wasn't mad at you. I was frustrated with the situation. I was just disappointed. Look, I had been home by myself for a week. I mean, Blake was here half the time, but like, I was done talking to the cats, and I wanted Dan back. So I'm glad that he's home. Um, Helen with her member super chat, member for 23 months. Jesus, friend, thank you so much for the support. Says, hey, Crystal and Dan, how's it going? I'm just Hi. joining you both. I didn't pay attention to the time you were starting. I thought it was one my time. It's always 6 p.m. Pacific. I don't know what time that is your time, but uh, I'm guessing 12. But yes, always 6 p.m. unless it's a paint night. But thank you for joining us, and thanks for the support, friend. Uh, well, the Real Life is here. Hello. Thank you for joining us. We are making... Toffee shortbread cookies. They just came out of the oven. Steve sent a photo of the fog. That's pretty foggy. I don't know if it'll show up there. 
Uh, it will not. Imagine that's the fog. Wait, I'll turn on my brightness. Sometimes that helps. It did. That's pretty foggy. Oh, sorry. My, my camera was not equipped to do that. <laughs> uh, Marco wants to know if you know Sunil. It's Linus backwards. <laughs> that's all I see. Uh, his band is opening for Gutter Mouth. I don't. No, I, I don't know I don't any. Know I don't know any music. Uh, Louis C.K. says, "What about making dinner while you wait for the cookies? That's never a good idea. Then we'll get sidetracked." <laughs> Dan has some stories to tell anyway. Um, Are we putting anything on top of these cookies or anything, or is that nope? It? Nope. It's it's just a shortbread, which is a plain cookie with some toffee bits in it. That's it. Hannah is so over untangling yarn. My cat isn't helping either. I bet not. Uh, Dan, you could have taken a flight to Australia. Helen would have put you up. Yeah, I want to go. <laughs> I want to go and see all the wacky animals. Yeah, and, and the wacky bugs. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't want to see the bugs. I do want to see the wacky bugs. Do not want to see the bugs at all. Um, I think I'm all caught up on all the things. Oh yeah, Doris says without a winter jacket in Detroit, that would have been bad, Dan. Um, inside is very temperature. I can't. I know it was only five minutes. I can't believe she came back and got your winter jacket. <laughs> That's great. All right, let me grab it. It was so jacket. thick. It's so thick. It's like. It's like Ralphie's little brother from A Christmas Story. Like, <laughs> yeah, are you just like... <laughs> I am. But it really, it works. But I am. So I couldn't bring it back. I don't know if I would have fit in the seat. Yeah, there's no room in this house for a big old winter jacket. And then she came back again to get me. Right? That's hardcore. That, that's a good friend right there. I'd have been like, oh, you can sleep at the airport. I've had enough. But then again, our airport is not five minutes away. And an easy drive to get to. So how do you like that shape? That's a little thicker, plumper thing. It is. Um, they're not very pretty, I will say that. <laughs> they're not unsticking very well because the toffee bits melted. I'm excited to try them though. They're still very warm and I'm sure the toffee is lava. Do you have any other stories for us, Dan? Mm, yeah, there's lots of stories, but some of them are going to be in the vlog. Some of them will be on the, the podcast. The audio recording? Some oh, old, no, ev just e everywhere. Story, everywhere. Stories will be for everywhere. You're not, you're not gonna blow a whole story cash right now. No, I just got done living it. It's fair. It's so too soon. <laughs> too soon. Oh, that one broke. Uh, it was a lot of fun though. I will say that, and I'm so much better at flying now. Yeah. Yeah, like you don't I. Don't cry anymore. No, I relaxed all the way home pretty much. I sat next to this stewardess. Can uh, you come over here. Uh, I sat next to the stewardess lady um, who was trying to, you know, get home because, like, sometimes you just, like, take tickets home. So she was dressed in, like, her full garb, and she was from Japan. So she had, like, this purple, like, uh, s s stewardess? Is that what they are? Flight attendant? Like, like, flight attendant. Yeah, flight attendant outfit. She was cool. She sat next to me, and she was telling me about Japan. So I made friends with the lady next to me on the way home. Always make a friend on a flight. <laughs> yeah, so never it was, once have I ever made a friend on a flight. It was cool. So that was cool. She had she had just come from Japan and she was getting back like in two days. She's like going around the world uh, for, for for work, you know, because she you know they they do flight attendant stuff. But she had these Japanese snacks and chocolates and stuff that she gave me. So that was cool. I did that and then I dozed off. They had really like it was a really old plane. So like the touch screens on the back of the seat were really small and it wasn't even 720 look at first world here it was like 320 resolution so it was really crummy and it had the new spider-man movie which is like two hours and two long minutes like <laughs> it's really long and i'm never gonna like sit around and i'm never gonna be able to sit around and watch it that's like too much focus time right for me but <laughs> on an airplane i could but i didn't want to watch it on this tiny like etch-a-sketch so did you not watch anything i did not i listened to some podcasts and I was watching Game of Thrones, which is already downloaded on my phone, but like some of it's inappropriate. So I have some. I have my beanie. So this is how I watch Game of Thrones. I have my beanie and I put my phone in it. And I pretty <laughs> much just watch it like a barf bag. Which which looks so, worse than if you were just watching no, it. No, and I'm making sure it doesn't reflect in the windows and people don't see. So I did that a little bit, but I slept for more than half the trip on the way home. It was like a like a five hour plane ride after I got to Detroit. Right. And so I just like slept through most of it and then Yeah. It went it went alright. 
Well, good. I'm glad you finally made it back safely. I don't know that I've ever really flown during the day. So you was... have when we went to Chicago because I don't. Fly okay, at so night. just like the, maybe that one time. That was it. So probably just that one time. All the other flights to Michigan have always been at night. So it was interesting to have so much daylight coming through the windows. Like, it was super... Oh, I always closed the window. It, yeah, but, like, when other people were opening and shutting them, it was, like, super bright. Which didn't matter to me, but it was just a in, different feeling when, when I'm on the planes. Because it's, it's always at night. Your mom is here. Hi, Mom. Look, I'm home. <laughs> I'm home and I'm, I'm safe. I'm home and I'm safe. Hooray. I'm glad. It was a long time without you. Yeah, it was a great trip though. Like I like, had the first day or two is always like, ah, oh, it's quiet and I can watch whatever I want on TV without like having to worry if Dan's gonna judge me for watching too many murder shows. But then after that, I'm just bored and have nobody to talk to. I got to help make syrup. Ooh, fun. Yeah, we boiled down syrup and I got to look through the syrup telescope to see how much syrup was in the syrup. What? Right. The syrup telescope? Yeah, it's a, what little, does that even it's mean? a little telescope that you put syrup on when you're boiling it to see how much syrup's in the syrup, like the sugar content. That's something I don't know anything about. It's kind of like a candy. Th- and you, like, and then we had like a thermometer in there, and we boiled it down. It was fun. Yeah? Yeah. Do we get to see that process? Well, yeah. Was there vlogging of that? Yeah. Did you vlog? Or are we just going to watch it on Jess's channel? No, I have stuff. I don't know what's in my camera because I have my camera. Right. I have Jess's camera. And then I have my phone, which gets short form content just to throw up like here and there, like like Facebook, no, no, like Instagram stories and those Facebook pictures that you see. Right. So I have like, and then sometimes I have Jess's phone to go run off and do other stuff. So there is stuff in all the cameras, but I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. On, uh, yeah, there'll be a full vlog of, there'll be a full vlog for sure. It will be enough minutes, but I don't know what's in my camera. I know it's in Jess's camera because I downloaded all of it today to make tomorrow's video that you can see on Gone to the Snow Dogs, but I do not... If you guys haven't heard of Gone to the Snow Dogs, go check them out. Give them a follow. They're pretty cool. I have not seen what's on my stuff yet, and I probably won't touch any of that until next week. I'm looking forward to like... I'm looking forward to Sunday. <laughs> just kind of chilling. When you don't have any any work things to do. Yeah, and then so Monday, Monday I will uh, I will take out that footage and start going through it. And Snow Dogs vlogs. Yes, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I have all those videos to edit as well. So, so I lived it. Then I edited one big edit already. Then I'll edit the days that I was there for Jess. Plus I'll edit my day. Plus I think Cyber Husky wants to edit from the same place. <laughs> So I literally... So you're going to relive it. That's why you don't want to talk about it. I literally am, am going to live it like four times. It's a lot of living. And lots of living. Uh, Wilton says, we have a couple trees in our yard we could tap, but we haven't tried it. Friend, that is untapped content. Go tap your trees. It's the to-do. Um, the like, stuff oh. that we had here tasted a lot better than what Jess sent us the first time because we, they started earlier in the year. Nice. So all those... Beer and Bug wants to know if you were sipping on some syrup. Oh yeah, we were taking shots of it. Every, every <laughs> that can't few, be healthy. Every few hours, Jamie's like, "Look, let's do it," and it was all smoking. It was so good. It was like half watery, half sugar. It was perfect. I don't know why they don't make. I'm excited to try it. They make hot apple cider. They should make hot maple syrup, but because <laughs> it's, it's it's not healthy, man. All right, so first batch of cookies is out. I think they've cooled enough. Would you like to try one? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do you? Uh, what you got? Wilton says, Don does know how, so we should. You absolutely should. That would be great content. Look, people who live over here, like, we don't make syrup. I, I am aware that making syrup is a thing. Wouldn't even know where to start. So easy. Let me show you how. <laughs> you you go to Jess's house and make poke, them do it? You poke a hole in the tree. Just with your finger. Mm. Like a woodpecker. It comes out into a bucket. And when it's done, you take it and then you boil it until it's syrup. <laughs> Until it's syrup. Until it's syrup. <laughs> yep, you just boil it and then boom, syrup. Steve says it's Canadian approved and just says you know you did it right when the Canadian approves. Right? It was really good. It was cool. It was it was an interesting process. Brittany wants to know if you had the maple water straight from the tree. Like, I didn't. I wasn't all like... <laughs> just don't do that. Like, well, that, yeah, I didn't put like a straw on it or anything like that. I don't know. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, I had it when it was being being boiled. I don't want it. Can you hear me snoring? <laughs> All right. I can. You want to try a cookie? Okay. So there's definitely some some toffee leakage. I don't oh. know. Oh. Oh good. 
They were really good. I love it because it's such a basic cookie. It's not like overly sweet, so it really focuses on the toffee. It is good. It is really good. My water. I approve. Okay. Good job. Yeah, a little messy and not pretty. But I'm happy with this recipe. Me too. That was good. Good job, Crystal. Thanks, Dan. Mm -hmm. I try. <laughs> so that made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 5, 25 plus, I think, just under 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 17, 18, 25, 45, 46, 47, 48, well, like 43 cookies. That oh, wow. Like, that's that's, that's going to be 43 cookies when we're done? Yes. Dang, that's a lot of cookies. They're good, though. It is, but like they're, it. like, bite-sized, so you know you'll just walk by and pop one in your mouth real quick. Oh, boy, that's where they're, they're dangerous. <laughs> it, it is, um, it's unique taste. Like, I haven't had this taste before. Uh, Jess says she sent a photo of the jar of syrup, if you want to show it. Sure. What is toffee? That's a good question. It's like when they mine... Sugar? Yeah, it's like when they mine for toffee. I... Let me Google that for you. I don't actually know. I just know that I freaking love it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if... Look. Yes. Oh, look, it looks like sunset. Oh, it does. It looks like sunset through there. You see that? So, yes. It was uh, It was really cool. It was really cool, and it looked really good. And, oh, it smelled great. Because then you have to come in and boil it on the sink also. So then it just smells or like on, you have a the, syrup sensi going? On the insides, yes. On the, the inside, sink. Uh, the, the kitchen fire. <laughs> uh, the cook the oven. We have, you boil <laughs> no, it outside, no, no. and then... The oven's the big hole in the front. Uh, the oven fire. Go to the trap! <laughs> the oven fire. Uh, the, the stove top. There you go! Uh, so the, it, that's the second boil, so it all smelled, and then we're, like, pouring it, and it all the windows were fogging up, and it was fogging up with syrup. All right. KK... Toffee is a brittle confection of English origin. It's a highly cooked mixture of syrup and butter to which... Nut meats? <laughs> I don't know what nut meat is. Um, but nut meats, flavorings, and colorings are commonly added during cooling. Uh, the manufacture of caramel and toffee resembles hard candy making, except that milk, excuse me, milk and fat are added. I don't know if that clarified. Um, okay, so caramel is sugar, water, and cream or milk. Toffee is sugar and butter. It's just amazing. Have you had a, like a Heath bar or a score bar or almond roca? God, all my favorite candies are toffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are great. Um, if you haven't, check it out. Toffee's amazing. It's it's brittle and crunchy and oh, it's amazing. I, if you like caramel, you will like toffee, but it's crunchy. Right. Yeah. This might be right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not not saltwater toffee. <laughs> I'm not a biggest the biggest fan of saltwater toffee. It's one of the biggest no, no, lies. No. It's saltwater taffy. Oh yes, <laughs> that's different. Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't make your toffee with saltwater. I don't like saltwater taffy. It comes in a million different flavors, and they all taste like you're chewing on an eraser. <laughs> not a fan at all. Uh, Chris says he heard Roger keeps toffee on the tour bus, so if I don't come home <laughs> from Chicago, you'll know why. <laughs> Are toffee and taffy different? Very, very different. Toffee is delicious. Taffy is the devil's chewing gum. <laughs> oh, it is. It's the biggest lie. You, like, you can't break it down in your mouth. You just chew on it forever and then eventually swallow it. I hope it doesn't pull out my bridge. <laughs> right? It's terrible. And it comes in so many flavors and colors. And if you go into, like, a shop that sells it, they'll have, like, barrels full of them. And you're like, oh, my God, it's root beer. And it's cotton candy. And it's blueberry. It's lies, you guys. It's all freaking lies. But it's so cool when you watch it made and it's on those arms and they're stretching it's, it out. It's flavored silly putty. It is. <laughs> barely flavored. Yeah. Flavor. Uh, Jason says it feels like it's pulling out all of your teeth. Yes. yes there's nothing good I can say about taffy. No. At all. They can't. Nobody's got it. All right. Same with the stupid rock candy. Oh, I love rock candy. No, Do not a... disparage rock candy. <laughs> it's a lie. I love rock candy. It's just chewing on hard sugar and it's <laughs> so amazing. We're all on a witch hunt. Who likes that toffee or that taffy? <laughs> it's, they're gone. 
Yes, Jason says they all taste like high fructose corn syrup gum. <laughs> also a cool name, high fructose corn syrup. Sounds, <laughs> sounds kind of rad. Uh, Wilton says there's always big bowls of free saltwater taffy sitting in all the fudge shop shops on Mackinac Island and Mackinac City for people to just take. And they can't even give it away. Because they have to get rid of it. Like, man, we got to get rid of this stuff. It's been sitting here since 1902. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen anybody eat taffy in 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beer and Bud claims he had some good watermelon flavored no, taffy from a candy shop <laughs> in Galveston, but it was fresh off the puller. Okay, fresh off the puller, I would try. Other than that, it's um, still flavored. So until I check that off the list, is it? Uh, Kamiko likes pop rocks too. Yes, that's right. Uh, Jason says blast me rock candy is God's chewing gum. <laughs> yes. I, oh my God! And you just eat it off the stick, and it's so amazing. I freaking love it. <laughs> God's chewing. I gum. only ever get it from my from my mom. For some reason, my mom always has rock candy. Not always, but like when I get rock candy, it's always from my mom. She's just like, oh, I have rock candy. You want some? It's the worst I love stuff it. ever. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's the worst. Yep, Wilton says the bowls are always full. I took a piece a couple of times over the years, and you're still chewing on them today. <laughs> well, not not the, not since COVID, but before when I would go to Jess's house before that, and I go to the airport um, at the like the front of the line for like the TSA, there was bowls of candy there. Like I got to wait in line, and like there was bowls of candy. in the airport, like in Traverse City. No, in the airport in De- straight up Detroit. Huh, like big airport. Uh-huh. Oh, weird. Yeah, they had bowls of candy there. They don't do that in LA. They don't do that in LA. <laughs> no. Uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Uh, when I got home, though, Kamiko was so excited to see me. The other she cats was, didn't... I don't play with her like you do. I don't really chase her around. I let her in and out. The other cats didn't it. care, but oh my gosh, she followed me into the bathroom. Like, I was taking it. Like, when I got home, I'm like, I got, I like went straight to the shower. I'm like, I gotta take a shower. I, I showered before I left. You but... smelled like the airport. Yeah. I don't know how to explain what an airport smells like until you smell it on somebody else. I was like, at the airport, airport for like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. So I went and she ran in there and she was between the the like the like shower curtain slip the shower curtain and the shower liner yeah she was like in there going back and forth and she was trying to figure out ways to get into the shower i'm like you don't want to do that you don't want to do that but she was so happy to see me she's like she was yeah she was she was pretty happy to see me topo was good today he came and laid on my desk and just flopped over like hey you're here mooch is probably just happy Um, to have somebody here during the day mooch came and bugged me a few times he's just like can i get like some extra snacks because i sometimes i slip him extra snacks (laughs) so he wants to know he wanted to know about about that and kitty was kitty but kumiko i was very surprised that she was like what's she up missed, what's yeah. up she was she was You're like what's up running around the backyard buddy. yeah she's just there and she's like looking she just kept staring at me like hey what you doing <laughs> and i picked her up and i hugged her and she didn't run away but now that today they're still back to like i was ready you know what it was it was like i left and i didn't have to parent and like today i'm like stop you <laughs> yeah, stop you fighting kind of a full-time and, cat parent right so right so it's just uh, like marco says dan equals cat man yes he has really become a crazy cat person i'm there you know i'm with them all day long so you are you're you're i have had cats my entire life i don't know i, I wouldn't say we wouldn't have cats if not for me wanting cats but like i don't know that cats would be such a big part of our life without me being obsessed with cats oh no i didn't have like i didn't have yeah, pets it wouldn't really be a thing so cats are kind of my thing but before dan left he was like Make sure you fill up Kitty's water. She likes it when you fill up her water and she'll come running. And you have to make sure they have food in their bowl. And you have to make sure this water is topped off. And you have to make sure you feed them Yeah, because it happens during the day. Like, all of a sudden, it just something needs to happen. Right, like, but the before turtle you were home something. all day, you used to work all day. Like, way later than I right. did. And I took care of all the cats. But then years... This is a new thing that you... Years went by. And I might have forgotten. Uh, hey, Dan. Huh? Steve is confirming you are 5'9 in real life. Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> How do you know? You know what it is? He probably marked 5'9 on him, and then when I went and gave him a hug, he was like, oh. <laughs> He did. <laughs> yup. Dang. Dang. Uh, Beer Mix says, what about trying to make movie glass candy? It's practically rock candy anyway. Never heard of it, but I will look into that. I we try to We try to do something. We try to do something one time where we poured the goo, and it, like, turned to, like, hard. And then we, like, try to break it into pieces. Like we yeah, us? Yeah, it was brown. Yeah, that's the the crunchy bar candy. Yeah, so we did it's something where we poured it stuff. and tried to like glass that's it. That's different. If if he's talking about it's practically rock candy, rock candy you make with a string over a cup or something. We tried to do it yeah, with like and once it and turns it was into not like successful. stalactites. Yes. And stuff. Yeah, so I don't Uh Brittany's suggesting don't you give saltwater taffy to someone who won't shut up. <laughs> yeah, that would be effective. 
Helen wants to know if we've tried hard candy in a yellow tin and orange writing. It's so yummy. I need, I need more information. Need, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, so maybe, maybe not? Yeah, maybe. Uh, Wilton was always a dog person growing up, and then I got a cat. I feel like that's what happens. Like, you get a cat, and you're just like, oh, cats. They don't really care. Like, they don't... Dogs are like, hey, 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 pay attention to me, pay attention to me. Cats are like, eh, take it or leave but it. The dogs and listen. then you want them to pay attention to you, because they're not. Just as dogs are so well behaved, though, like... They don't... That's true. And then, like, I can't control the cats. They do what they want. I love it about them. They do what they want. Well, I love them. And, like, again, uh, they're very much small again when I got home. <laughs> you always say that. Because I was so around tiny. dogs. They're so tiny. They are so tiny again. Steve says, love you, Dan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jess says her first pet was a cat. Gave her to my aunt when we left Arizona, and we got dogs. I am dog people. I can't imagine you with a cat. Like, not that you'd be a bad cat parent, but you're such a dog person, I can't picture you as a cat She'd person. She'd probably train the cat. Probably. Like, like the SeaWorld cats that, like, walk across wires right? and things. <laughs> right. Uh, Beer and Bug says, that sounds like some sort of butterscotch candy. No, 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 it's the, the crunchy bar. We made it on the show. We did the crunchy bar candy on the show. That was before, fun. Before you guys started sending me, that's what precipitated... Uh, people sending me crunchy bars because I talked about how much I love crunchy bars. When I really love something, I learn how to make it. Like, I need to know how to make this so I can have it whenever I want to, and I learned how to make it. Yes. Steve says, I am dog people too. They didn't dog talk for as much as they have, like, a grip of dogs together. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't that much dog talk. We made some leashes. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I did it too. I don't... You made a thing? Yeah, like, I crimped the pieces that were important, and, like, that's, like... That's on you. <laughs> that's that's on you, man. But yeah, I crept some important pieces. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was like one a.m. Yeah. That's the best time to make things. Then like one a.m. That need to stay together to keep your pets safe. Well, we played a bunch of board that's games nice. with like multiple like people, so that was interesting because you and I usually just play together. Right. Yeah. So we had. I was a lot of different fun. dynamic. A lot, yeah. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff that happened. Uh, Chris says, dog people, cat people, meh, I'm anything delicious people. <laughs> you just like snacks? <laughs> Pets are okay, but have you right. had snacks? <laughs> That's what I want to know. So, this is it. We don't pour no goos on them no, or anything like that. It. It's a, a nice, simple, basic cookie. What are we making next week on the show? Next week, we are making Georgia pralines. All right. Do you know what that is? Is No, is there... Okay, hold on. Is it a cookie? Is it... Is it a sandwich? I would lean more towards a candy. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me fetch my cookies. And then a praline is a nut, right? Kind of looks like an almond. And then I it's... think praline is the candy because it's usually pecan pralines or praline pecan ice cream, right? Right. Which is like an old people ice cream, but I kind of love it. So Bye, Jess. Again, I love it. So I learned how to make it. Um, you basically take pecans, pecans, however you want to say it, um, and you, you make this candy, and you put the nuts, we'll make it on the stove, we cook it like how if you're making a caramel or something like that. Okay. I think there might be a candy thermometer involved, I'll have to look into that. I've made them before, um, Hannah had them, uh, Hannah's excited for next week, I think she says she's gonna make it along with us. I sent them in my Christmas cookie tin, I make them for Christmas so that I can have them, because <laughs> I don't need all of them, but I need some of them. So we will make a batch of those, and you pour it out, like, by the spoonful, and then it sets, and then you just eat it, and it's, like, crumbly and soft, and hmm. I, it's amazing. Yeah, that'll be fun to make. It's it's old people candy, but I don't care, I love it. That'll be great. With special guests, maybe? There may be a special guest next week. I'm, I'm not going to spoil yes. it, but there may be a guest yes. here. Yes, yes. It's not Nanda. Sorry, Nanda. But you are welcome to come be a special guest. Oh, Nanda's not watching still. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> she might be. You don't know. Oh uh, PJ with a super yes. chat. What's Thank up, you PJ? so much. Today is my cat's 18th Yay. birthday. Happy birthday, Sue. Sue? All right. Is that how we say it? S-O-O, Sue? Get Sue a pack. That's awesome. Congratulations mm -hmm. on your cat making it so yes. long. That is not normal. Those of you thinking about getting cats, they don't usually make it to 18. Um, my mom is still taking care of Nala from over 18 years ago. Bet she didn't think that was going to last that long. I did have a cat that made it to 19 once. A cat that I got when I was 10 died when I was 29. It was a Jeez. long, long time. And right. she was an outside cat, too. My dad wouldn't let her in the house. So <laughs> when we moved here, she stayed with my dad mm -hmm. and was there until I was 29. Dang. <sighs> 
Nanda is petting a potato. No, no, no. She took a picture with the potato, but she had too much vodka to understand what I was saying. She took a picture of the potato? <laughs> she took a picture of her with Kitty, and then she posted it. And I asked her, did you take this picture with a potato? Because I think that's what the kids say these days. Because it was so low quality. Oh. See what I'm saying? Yes. But somehow in her mind, that turned into me telling her that she was petting a potato. She had a lot of vodka. She was very upset that I was not keeping up as quickly as she did. Poor Nanda, you're um, selling her out. <laughs> no, I love her, and I had so much fun hanging out with her. We went and got food. We hung out. Uh, we drank some vodka drinks. Only vodka drinks. There was no whiskey drinks or no. whatever the other drinks are. <laughs> um, just vodka drinks that I was mixing. But she was like two to one to me. She she was way more hardcore good, than I was. It was good times. It was. It was fun. It's It's been... Almost a year since we've hung out at all, and before that, like, over a year. I haven't so. seen her in a minute. You have not. We used to see each other every time, or, like, a lot. Yeah, we used to go to her house for, like, birthday parties and things all the yeah, time. Yeah, that was fun. over here, but our kids grown, and we don't really have parties, and we're busy on weekends, so right. we don't do much. Plus, you know, that whole pandemic thing. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, well, that's going to be fun next week. It will be. So make sure you guys join us. I yes. think, I, I know it's not quite eight, but I'm hungry. And I think uh, yes, I think, I think we should uh, wrap this up. We, I'm a little, all the stories I, I'm a little pooped from, from lots of traveling and lots of stuff. So it would be nice to be able to like have a little bit of a night. We can hang yeah. out. That'll be a lot of fun. Yes. Absolutely. All right, All right guys. Dan, everybody. <laughs> so, again, make sure you guys check out the calendar on the RFS family yeah, Facebook page. Sure. And right here um yes. tomorrow we will be here for it's weird because you put the monitor for me to see what's I, going on way over here instead of in front of me so yes. i don't look natural i'm no, like you have to look we're doing here. dantics so, tomorrow guys sorry when when i when i when i leave i have to take everything off the barge the big desk thing because the cats run around on it and it's over there so setting things back up usually takes a couple days of like oh yeah this piece and that piece this is as far as i was able yeah, so to you make, had one day less than to you make it have. right I, I busted out that video for jess and it was almost two hours of footage to get a five minute video i forgot so to switch I had these to do flat that. before i put them in the oven. oh no what does that do they're just brown no uh, they're more like snowball cookie shaped. So, uh, oh. but by next week we'll all be back again like it'll be back to like yes the, to okay. back the way the okay. back the way it was you know what you're talking about <laughs> a little a little a little bit all right, they're asking for some mooch. I got okay. some snacks here from Linda. I can. Um, while we do that, thank you guys for joining us tonight. I highly recommend you try this recipe. Don't forget to squish your cookies flat, because apparently I forgot that. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> he heard it. Um, do you know what's happening? Sorry, I can't turn. I'm too far to turn off the calendar. Okay, hold on. I got it. Hi. Oh, Topo woke up as well. Oh, you got goopies in your eyes. You're not camera ready, Mooch. Topo! Come on! Can we see him? Hold on, I almost pulled the camera out of socket. Oh, oh don't do that. No. Yeah, hang tight, hang tight. Okay, we'll, we'll feed Mooch some snacks. You catch it? Sit. Oh, you dropped it! <laughs> He's really been having trouble getting the snacks off the counter lately. Here. There you go. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Mooch is blocking Topo. Mooch. All right, you gonna catch it? Sit. Good boy. Oh, you tried. So close. Rizzo, you want one? And under the fridge. <laughs> no, he got it. Did he? Hi, would you like this? You would. Oh, no nails, bro. Why do you look so squinty? Were you sleeping? Oh, he got it with his hands. <laughs> Good job. I will say there's a quite a bit more things that happened that were super fun and funny, but they'll come they'll come rolling out over the next week or so. Fair enough. Yeah, you I saved. I saved the good stuff. Oh, so close! It bounced off your nose. Oh, sorry, Riz. It ricocheted. More? Good job. Good catch! Oh, you dropped it, though. Thank you, Linda, for the snacks. The cats love them. They're pocket pillows. Oh my gosh, Chris, now you got that song stuck in my head. Don't read Chris's chat, otherwise you'll never get it out of your head. Okay. 
Also, you should read Chris's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that comes on on my mom's like shuffle. It still at work comes on. And Did it come in my head? Did it come on at the mall? Who sent that? Was that like a uh, Vanessa Williams? Vanessa Williams. Okay, I believe so. I was gonna say Vivica A. Fox. <laughs> no, I don't think nope, she said that it. was that wasn't her. It was uh, Vanessa Williams. Oh, you missed. You flailed. Get it, Riz. I don't know where Kamiko is. Is she outside? She could. Yeah, I let her outside. Oh, hi. Who's that? Tyson. Here comes uh, here comes Topo. Don't let him outside. Now Crystal's feeding outside cats. Kamiko might be at the front. He wants snacks too. He came running out as soon as I closed the door. You gonna catch it? Nice, good job. You dropped it though. <laughs> First in line, huh? He's getting pretty good at catching the snacks. All right, guys. I got to go give Kitty some snacks. Let's wrap this up. Yes. Thank you guys again for joining us tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow night for some Dantix at 6 p.m. Yay. Same Dan time, same Dan channel. Oh, we no. miss you guys, and can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye. Have Where's a my night. outro music? Oh, there is no. I'm going to have to sing some. Ow! That was hard. Dang, he Chris rocked you. Or really? <laughs> <laughs> I got it backwards. He's Don't trying to eat your. Me. He's trying to eat your hand. He All right, is. good night, everybody. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Beep, boop, 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 boop.